and now to a very special, fragrant and aromatic oasis. It's a healing garden and here's Jane. This is a very special garden. It's the Friends Sensory Garden at the Royal Talbot Rehabilitation Centre in Melbourne. And not only is it a really drought resilient garden, it also plays a vital role in the patient's rehabilitation. The aim of this Friends Sensory Garden here is to stimulate the senses. Uh, our patients here are people that have had uh, an acquired brain injury um, and we're really wanting to enhance the rehabilitation by creating a space that, that stimulates their senses to, uh, to improve their health. Stephen Wells is a horticulturalist and a garden therapist at the Centre's Acquired Brain Injury Unit. He's also a registered nurse and he decided to establish the garden in 2003, bringing together his two professional skills. It helps the patients to stimulate some of their, their memory and their mood. And it's not just a garden that has uh, a lot of fragrance. It's a garden that has different textures and colours and shapes and aromas. Different things for different people will stimulate their, their senses and uh, bring back memories of uh, things that they've uh, had before. And do you think that really does work? It does because for a lot of them, a lot of their control has been taken away from them uh, following an injury. So for them to be able to do some things that uh, are normal, things that they've done before, it's actually quite reassuring for them to start to, to do that again and to feel that that's, that's a step uh, in their recovery. One of the patients just saying how they enjoy waking up in the morning and pulling up their blind and looking out onto the garden, just give them a, it gave them a real lift for the day. So it's the subtle things that uh, we find make a big difference. Now where did the inspiration for the whole garden come from? I guess the inspiration for me came from the fact that there wasn't much here to start with. Um, we had these solid walls and harsh elements around this space and I wanted to change that into something that was actually pleasing to the eye. So we had this big open space with all we had was this fantastic ash tree and the, the great thing about that was that it was a great focal point. So from a design point of view I wanted to break it up into some smaller spaces within the big space. Within the sensory garden there are four main designs and this is probably the focal point. It's a lovely sunny paved area where clients and the staff can come and have a cup of tea or coffee and have a bit of a chit chat. And the main focal point is that beautiful tree. It's a Fraxinus aurea or the golden ash. Fragrance is the essence of any horticultural therapy garden. In this case, this is called Herb Alley. It's a lovely little area with herbs planted either in pots or straight into the garden bed. And that gives different height levels, which is important for people with accessibility. Even people in wheelchairs can lean over and smell and touch these herbs. I've never known anyone not to like this one. It's the peppermint geranium. It's soft texture, beautiful pepperminty smell. Of course, you've got the mints, the common mint and the apple mint, but this one is a really interesting plant. For fragrance it's got a vanilla smell, it's called cherry pie or heliotrope. Magnificent plant, nearly all the time in flower. And on the other side you've got the lovely pots filled with vegetables and herbs like parsley and chives and silver beet. And in this case I really like the way they've left the signs, eat me or smell me, because that's exactly what they're encouraging people to do. This semicircular area is called the inner sanctuary and it's made of a frame of willow so that you can partially see through it and eventually the mop top robinias are going to grow over as a canopy. It's a very quiet area, simply furnished just with a little water feature and a few of the butterflies. And there's a fourth garden feature that is Stephen's favourite. I have many favourite parts of the garden but this is my favourite. The rainbow wall is uh, an element that just draws people through the garden being sculptural but it also is the bright colours uh, that here is here all, the, all throughout the year and we don't have to rely on plant colours to, to provide that. As you can see here the, the blending of the colours is just such a, a great highlight of it, it just softens it and it's a real nice bright element to the garden, I really love it. Mm. 
And what about like the overall benefit to everyone here at Royal Talbot? Um, it's, it's created a real sense of um, activity in the sense that everyone's gained a, like a real interest in what we're doing here and then wanting to come and be involved and use the space and it's given us uh, quite a lot of people a real lift about what we do here and to enjoy our, our workplace and the, the clients we work with.